Then both sons died. So Naomi, whose own husband had died years before, had no one to look after her. Naomi lost everything that was dear to her. She was convinced that she would never be happy again. However, because of Ruth's faithfulness, Naomi's happiness was restored. God watched over Naomi, providing everything she needed. She was given a new family, and her bitterness was wiped away. Those are our questions for today. Now let us see what else we can learn about our time with Ruth. The name Bethlehem means house of bread. Wheat and barley usually grow in different parts of the land, but in Ruth's day, both were grown near Bethlehem. Harvesting the grains took several steps, including cutting the stalks, binding them into sheaves, gleaning, threshing, and winnowing. Threshing means separating the grain from the stalks. Threshing floors were typically located in an open area, so the threshers could use the wind to separate the grain. The workers would use oxen or donkeys to pull a sledge over the wheat or barley to thresh the grain. The technique has not changed much since ancient times. This sledge was discovered in Tel Kassil, an archaeological dig in Tel Aviv. When the threshing was complete, farmers would toss the grain in the air, allowing the wind to blow away lighter stalks, leaving the kernels behind. This wall painting found in an Egyptian tomb shows workers winnowing grain. Gleaners are poor people who collect leftover crops from a farmer's field once the harvesters have finished. The Law of Moses allowed widows, like Ruth, to glean as a way to provide food for their families. Boaz was very generous in providing for Ruth. Boaz was also Naomi's close relative, which allowed him to be in the position of kinsman redeemer. It's true that I am one of the relatives that is supposed to take care of you. The kinsman redeemer had the obligation to oversee business transactions for their relative as well as marry a widow to carry on her family name. But there is someone who is an even closer relative. Stay here until morning. Then I will find out if your other relative is willing to look after you. Boaz met with his relative in the front of the elders at the city gate. With so many people going in and out of the gates, it was fairly easy to gather witnesses. Therefore, it was a common practice to perform business and legal transactions at the city gate. Excavations at Tel Dan uncovered a raised platform at the city gate, meant to act as a seat for a judge and for the elders. You are witnesses that I have bought the property of Naomi's husband, and that I have agreed to marry Ruth the Moabite. Ruth and Naomi had lost everything. They were so poor that Ruth resorted to gleaning the fields for food. But they remained faithful to God, and God was faithful to them, providing far beyond their needs. Then Ruth had a son, and they named the baby Obed. Obed became the father of Jesse and the grandfather of David, the king of Israel. Today's Superverse is Psalm 34.9. Fear the Lord, you his godly people. For those who fear him will have all they need. That is all we have time for today. Just remember, God is your provider.